All right, so for some reason, this Motorola phone isn't getting, uh, getting any cellular signal. So we're gonna try and open it up and see if it's an antenna issue. So first thing you wanna do is go to the bottom where the charge port is. You'll actually see this little gap in this corner. You can use a plastic pry tool. I just use my fingernails and we're just gonna pop that up. <clears throat> All right, I use my thumb here and pulled with my fingernail and then we're just gonna go around continuing to pop up all those clips. We got that side, we're gonna go along this side, pop those clips, and then the top, I believe, just comes out. So kind of like that, kind of wiggle. Oh, I guess we have to pop it out there too. All right, there we go. So now we got this out. You can see the battery model number here, GK40. All right. So I don't know uh, what specific model this is. We'll find out hopefully once we get this opened. Um, all right, so we got that out. The model is XT1768. I'll have to look what that up. We'll look up what that is later, but uh, it's right there. X XT1768. All right, all right. So I have to hide some of these stuff just in case. All right. So now we're going to remove the SIM card. So you just go up here, and then you can push that out. Once you do that, you can actually grab the SIM card out and put it aside. <clears throat> okay, there's also a slot for a micro SIM card. We're going to be using a PH1 or JIS, or sorry, PH0 or JIS0 screwdriver to remove all the screws. There's a lot of screws in here um, and you wanna keep them all in order, so keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and remove them. The way I keep the screws in order is I put them flat side down like this. In the pattern, I remove them on my desk, all right? If this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, other than that, let's go ahead and continue removing all these screws. <clears throat> Again, I'm just gonna put all these screws in the pattern. I remove them on my desk so that way I can remember where they came from and there's like no chance that I'm gonna mix them up if you want you can go in rows whatever works for you you can do like two up here four down here whatever works <clears throat> it helps you save some space on the desk and makes it a little bit um easier to lay them out but if you have enough room you can just put them in the same exact pattern all right so let's go ahead and continue removing all these screws these screws are a little bit um stiff when you first remove them so keep that in mind you want to put a lot of downward pressure when you undo the screws. Make sure it's not coming like slipping in the screw because if it slips and damage the the head of the screw, you're not going to be able to open your phone. All right, so let's go ahead and continue removing all these. Okay, we're almost there. Got four or three down here. Hopefully we're not missing any. It looks like we got them all. And then you got a whole bunch here. Okay, so remove that and remove this one. All right, and then we got four more down here that we're going to remove. If your screwdriver isn't magnetic, you can actually use a strong magnet to magnetize it. You basically just run the magnet along the screw screwdriver in one direction. Okay, let's go ahead and continue removing all the screws. So, not 100% sure if it's going to fix this issue or not. I need to find out what the um, more generally known name for this phone is, but for now we're just working on it like that. Okay, so Usually, you can kind of get underneath here. Let's see how we can pop this up. Okay, so that's not popping out easily. Mm, okay, the top is moving a little bit, but I don't think I'm supposed to pop it up from there. Mm, where's the easiest way I can pop this thing out? All right. Oh, okay, so here we go. So there's this little tab that sticks out right below this screw with of plastic. It looks like I can get underneath there. So I'm gonna lift there and see. Looks like there's a clip here. So I'm gonna actually pull that clip as well. Let me zoom in and turn this sideways. 
Okay, it's hard to see, I know, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So I unclipped that piece there. Let's see what else we got to do to get this out. So we're going all the way around. Okay, looks like it might be clipped there as well, but I don't know how I'm going to pull that clip out. So let's continue working our way down from the bottom here. If we can, okay. Be careful not to pull the board up. I don't think the board is supposed to come out. <clears throat> okay, so. Hmm, this one's a little bit tricky to remove. I don't know if I just pull it really hard if it's going to come out or if it's going to break something. So I'm trying to be careful here. Looks like we probably need to pull this one up down here, but... I don't know, how would we, somewhat pulling up the whole motherboard or logic board under there, so seems a little risky. Let's try and go from this side, the opposite side that we haven't done yet, okay. See the plastic, it does pull up slightly, but I don't know, it's not easy, all right. Let's go ahead and go along here. Let's try and undo this clip as well. There we go. Okay, so we got that. This, yeah, this does seem to be a small clip that we need to get out. Um, you can probably see if you have a small thin tool to do it. Let's try with this. No, I might have to use a screwdriver, but let's see. I'm twisting this tool. To try and pop it. As you can see, it doesn't seem to want to come out. So, not too sure. I'm trying to pull the plastic up so that the clip disengages, but it's not really doing anything. Okay, so, hmm. This seems to be very difficult to get apart. Oh, okay. So I went around the top with my fingernail and popped that clip out. We're going to do the same over to this side, hopefully. So just going around. And these clips are, they pop back in. <laughs> Okay, get that clip back out. Okay. So got part of it out, but this one doesn't want to come out. Hmm. Yeah, this clip is like stuck in there. Hmm. Wow, I can't even, I'm trying to pull it really hard and nothing's happening. Is there a hidden screw under this? What is this? There's a thing here. I don't know what this rubbery thingy or this foam pad is. I don't think there's a screw. Oh, that somehow got a clip to release. There you go. So we can see underneath here. You see all these contact points and <clears throat> this says 5G DI. So I don't know if this is actually an antenna here. It might be. Um, then you got the flash down here, which apparently is just, um, oops, sorry. You get the flash with this golden thing here. You can see all the inside has all these golden pieces and those connect <clears throat> the antennas and everything. So this is two in one DR. I don't know what that is. This looks like an antenna right here. That's an antenna, and this is also an antenna right here. So the antennas are just held in with this plate, it looks like. These are the antennas, it seems. I don't really see anything else here. <clears throat> so I guess we didn't have to take all these bottom screws out. Um, I don't know if the contact points are bad or something. It doesn't make sense that they wouldn't work. So there's an actual other antenna right here. Okay, so this antenna, that's also clicked in just fine. There's these little ports for antennas. There's one here, one here, and one here. But they don't have physical, like, antennas linked to that. So we don't need to do anything with it. <clears throat> Let's see if we can pop this bottom one off and see if there's anything under there. Sometimes they put antennas in here. So, ow. Okay, so there we go. I popped that out using my fingernail. Here you can see the other antenna right here. 
There's a liquid spill detection thing there. There's another contact point here for, I think that's another antenna, main DP. So there's an antenna here as well. Okay, <clears throat> so this thing is just held in with those things. There's the uh, motor there, the haptic feedback or taptic feedback, whatever it's called. And there's not much else. Um, it looks like you can replace this board here if the charge port breaks and you don't know how to solder. Um, these kinds of connectors, you kind of just pop them up. I'm not going to mess with that um, because I don't want to risk breaking their phone. They're worried about their data being lost if something happens, so I don't want to mess around with it too much. I just wanted to check the antennas. But it looks like the antennas are these gold contact points, so there's not really much you can do unless the screw somehow came loose and it's not making proper contact. So I don't know what would cause it to not get a connection. Let's go ahead and snap this back together. Okay, it's very easy to snap back together. Just get everything lined up and then just push it into place. All right, this phone is um, pretty easy to put back. All right, okay, everything looks good. And now let's just go ahead and get all the screws back in. I'm gonna just make sure they're nice and tight. But other than that, I don't see much else in here. So I don't know what would cause the antennas to stop working. I personally feel it's something on Verizon's end, but they're just telling them it's the antennas. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. All right, let's get all these screws back in. <clears throat> okay, we got those four, so don't forget those. Alright, I'm just making sure they're nice and tight. So these just have those gold contact points for the antennas. There's only one antenna that has like a physical wire, so... Um, yeah, and it looked like it's connected just fine. They said they were traveling, and then after they landed back in the US, that's when it had the problem, so it's very strange. I don't see how traveling would do it. They didn't drop it or anything, they said. <clears throat> so it's actually very strange that this phone just randomly stopped working the way it did. Alright, well, let's get all these screws in. Okay. Let's get that. And then we'll just power it back up, and that's pretty much all there is to it. <clears throat> so hopefully this video helped you guys. Again, sorry I didn't really find anything strange with it, but at least hopefully it will help you get the covers off. It's a little bit tricky with the clips. <clears throat> Other than that, it comes apart pretty easily. Alright. Again, hopefully it helped. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, you're welcome to stay as I put back the rest of the screws and the battery and power it up. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you all in the next one. Alright, let's get these last two screws in. And get the battery. Don't forget the SIM card as well, of course. I kind of wonder, maybe they put the SIM card upside down? No, I don't, shouldn't be. Okay, we got all the screws back in. Take the SIM card. I'm assuming it can only go one direction. They don't have anything to prevent it from going the other way, but they show a picture of this, so. Oops, sorry. So we're just going to slide that back in there. Okay, make sure the SIM card is in all the way. And let's get the battery now. Put this side in. There's also the liquid spill detection stickers there. All right, and then to put the cover back on, very simple, just get everything lined up and just smush it all together. All right, and that's pretty much it. So again, thanks for watching. It's been powered up. Okay, 
and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye. Let's get maybe a screenshot. All right, bye.